Hey, it's Chuck here, back with Milton Daily Homes. It's a, it's a lovely Monday outside. I know there's a lot of snow, but that's okay. So I feel overdressed for the party. I've got my tie on. Maybe it'll make me smarter. Um, who knows? But I'm much more comfortable in my Simon Cowell t-shirt. So anyhow, let's get right to today's list. We've got nine properties, and the first one up is 341 Wilson, number eight. And it's a 2149. It's a three-bedroom, two-washroom. When you look inside for this price for 214, this is the lowest game in town. Don't expect perfection, okay? So you've got some work to do in the kitchen. Sometimes you paint these cupboards, you give them some new handles, and you change the counter, and you're off to the races. And it's a very um, low cost, high impact. Uh, like you could double, triple your money sometimes if you look to flip it. So you've got laminate floors here. And, you know, everything looks pretty good. The one thing that I always caution people with these ones here is that you've got electric baseboard heating, which can have an adverse effect on the amount of utilities that you pay. Maintenance fees are good, 233 That's uh, probably some of the lowest in town. You've got your AC and your fridge been updated, your water softener, your appliances, and the breaker panel's been updated too. So that's nice to see that stuff. Overall, I think this one has substance, not necessarily style. I think it's a good deal. Um, just strongly consider the pros and cons of the electric baseboard heat. And so uh, 1379 cost again, number 611, is at 284.9. It's a two bedroom plus one. And what's great about this one is there's actually a second parking space. And in terms of a value perspective, that probably adds between five and fifteen thousand dollars, probably somewhere hovering around ten. And I don't know what the rental rates in this building are. I would imagine they're between forty and sixty dollars a month to rent that space. Okay, so inside you've got. I wish they had to change that. The white hood fan with the stainless steel just never sits well with me. Granite counters. So they've spent some money in here for sure. And, uh, and they've decorated it very nicely. You've even got the upgraded counter in the bathroom. There's only one bathroom here. But those are the things. So you're getting an upgraded suite. You're getting $225 a month on your maintenance fees. It basically includes water. It should include water. I think they do in this building. And then you've got the, um, the basic stuff. So uh, two parking spaces. And they both seem like they're close to the elevator. And... What can I say? I mean, you know, this one looks like a pretty good deal for what it is in the building and what else is sold. This one probably won't last too long. Now, Barclay, there's my iPhone just ringing. So Barclay is 344.9. And so I'll show you where this is because that can have an effect. It's, it's called, I believe it's called... I don't know, because there's a new one called the Bolton, something like this. It's a semi-detached, and so you've got this family room. That previous room was at the front of the house, and then you've got the kitchen, which, so if you go to the left in this picture, then you'd be in the family room, and if you went through this door in the kitchen and then went down the hallway, you'd see that there's that front room. So the kitchen is not necessarily as open concept as some of the other models, but it does, they've, they've obviously updated it, hardwood on the floors, backsplash, bedrooms upstairs, you've got two full bathrooms, and you've got the finished basement here too. So the model here, I think this is between 12 and 1300 square feet. Um, so if you look at that and you say, hey, you know what, that model is probably, you know, three, what, 315, 325, add the finished basement, add some of the finishes, and you could say, okay, great, you know, maybe we're in the range on the price. Now, the one thing that, that I would caution you about there's the house in, in nicer weather. You can see there's a two-car driveway, which is an excellent feature. Now, when you look across the street, you've got a little kid skateboarding here, actually two of them, and right across the road, you have, let me just get my mouse right here, you've got Thompson Road right there, and there's the uh, the Petrocanda, so it's Darien Thompson, and you're going to hear this road quite a bit, so I know that the properties on Thompson take a hit for that location, and I have a feeling that this one here is too, so it's a very quiet street, the kids can skateboard, they can bike, they can do all that, but the noise factor from that road, from a busy four-lane road, uh, could affect the value of this house. So I don't know. I mean, it seems a little bit aggressive for that model to try and shoot for that price, but you never know. I mean, it's it's an active price range. Now, Chapman Crescent is at 364,990, basically 365. And so when you walk in the house, it's a very narrow entrance here. So it's, I, I mean, that's, 
I don't know if there's a little side way to get out, out there, but California shutters, narrow ones on the door. You've done, got the door insert, got the runner on the stairs. Now the kitchen's been done. Everything looks beautiful in the home. It looks like it's freshly painted. Hardwood floors here too, more California shutters. And the bedrooms look nice too. Now this is the basement. So there's a finished basement and that's the walkout. So it's a sliding door walkout to the backyard, which is an excellent feature. Now when you look at this, you say, where's the home here? And then you look at Google Maps, and it's this one right here on the corner. And guess what? We have Dairy Road, okay? So we're getting into, again, busy street locational factors. Chapman Crescent is usually a pretty quiet street. And same thing, the kids can probably play on it. They can play hockey and stuff. But you are going to hear the noise here. When you barbecue out in your backyard, you're going to hear the noise. And these trees, once they grow in, are going to have a, 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 a nice effect on noise prevention, but it's not. It's never going to dull it out completely. You're always going to be beside Dairy Road. Okay, so that's that one there. I think the price is probably a little aggressive here, but it is very, very nice. Now, Limestone is $4.49. It's a four bedroom bungalow, so right away it grabs the attention of some people. There's a single car garage, it looks like there's a little service entrance into that garage, so it could be a little oversized. And inside, not cosmetically perfect, but not too bad. You know, the hardwood floors, the kitchen, they've done some updates in this kitchen, and it's pretty big. So there's some really good stuff. There's the basement, you've got a kitchen here with laundry, so there's a potential for perhaps two families to live in this home. And so the, there's a lot of good positive things. Now usually we do the lot size as 329 deep by 132. This looks like it's, uh, so 329 should be the second measurement, not the first. So the frontage times depth is usually how we notate our, uh, our properties, but it looks like they've reversed this one here too. So there you go, oil heating on this one. And uh, I like it. I think it has some really positive elements to it. And the price range in the country, that's that's getting close to entry point. Sabaline is at 464. This is by far the chuck pick of the day. It's a double car garage. And so it pies out. It's larger in the back. You've got granite countertops. You've got nice stainless steel appliances here. I don't know what that is. It looks like a, a scale to measure yourself, um, which I guess would help you in the kitchen to not eat as much. Um, there's the iPhone again. The uh, Now this is the family room, probably just off to the side, and then you've got the dining room when you first walk in. And that's the family room, I believe, on the second floor. And then you've got three other bedrooms. And that looks good. You get some nice green space just off in the distance, and obviously the escarpment somewhere from there. And they've even done the exterior pot lights. It's a nice little value added feature. So I um, I like the way that they did it so close to the actual picture in the home. That's a neat little feature. They did a, a neat job there. This one's going to sell in a heartbeat. Okay, no air conditioning, window coverings. There are some costs that you'll have to bear, but at least you've got appliances in there and they look really good. Okay, so Serafini is a 485. And this looks a lot like the other models that are over on McLaughlin, the uh, the Balfours. So it's not huge. It is a four bedroom, but I have a feeling what you're getting on the main floor is just this one big room. And then you've got the kitchen just off to the side there too. And you've got that sort of um, angled countertop. Okay, so there you go. Um, it's hard to sell a vacant house. It's really not an easy thing. Serafini's a good street. You've got stone and stucco. The neighborhood looks great. All the neighbors take good care of their house. And it's a 32 by 110 foot lot. So 485 is probably in shooting range of where they're going to sell it for. Now 15th side road is at 745. And it almost has this like smoker stain on the bottom of the garage. Probably just the water, the snow, all that stuff. But uh, it's a very Georgian style home. It's between 2,500 square feet on about 11 acres. So that price looks pretty good to me. Um, interesting thing, I talked to two people about this last week. If you only have um, a green picture of your house and not a snow picture and it's in the middle of winter, people will think that the home has been listed since the summer. So you need to, if you're going to mix it up, if you want to have some green shots, let's say your pool in the backyard, make sure your front shot is a snow shot so that people get it, that it's a current listing. 
Okay, so inside you've got a great stone mantle there. It's beautiful. Hardwood floors. Looks like the windows have been updated, but it's hard to tell from these pictures. They're not huge. Again, kitchen, if you paint those cabinets, I bet you would really turn them around. And good size master. So, hey, it's not perfect, but I think for the amount of land that you get, look at this. This is fantastic. And for overall, for the size of the home, it's 745. If the basic elements, the windows, the roof, all that stuff is in good shape, I think it's excellent. It's got an in-ground pool. Make sure you don't need to dump a, bu a bunch of money in there. But overall, I, I'm impressed. Now, second line, so this one's way over at Guelph Line. And it's uh, it's probably just north of 15th Side Road. Um, yeah, 789 for 52 acres. Don't expect miracles from the house. It's probably not a perfect house. They've got five garage spaces and it's over 2,000 square feet. So this one here, if it's at all in reasonable shape, it's probably gonna sell pretty fast. So this is a, uh, I can't wait for the photos on this one. I like those big 50 acre pieces of land and, um, and it's a very quiet spot. So that's our list for today. Any questions, please give us a call. 905-693-9346 or if you want to see any of them. So have a great week. We're going to be back tomorrow with more Milton Daily Homes. Bye.